Welcome to episode 9 of Tornado Facts with Beanock 124 Today's episode is about the 1981 West Bend, Wisconsin tornado that occurred on April 4th, 1981. This tornado was an unusual and deadly anticyclonic F4 tornado that struck West Bend, Wisconsin, a suburb of Milwaukee. This tornado killed three people and injured another 53. This tornado was largely unexpected and the storm that produced it did not display the features of a typical severe storm. Because of this, the National Weather Service only issued a severe thunderstorm warning prior to the tornado, causing lo uh, local law enforcement and or causing local law enforcement to not sound the tornado sirens before the re beforehand to let residents get into shelter or to alert them. Sorry, I cannot speak. So here's the meteorological synopsis. During the early morning on April 4th, 1981, meteorological conditions in Wisconsin were con con conducted. Con conducive for severe weather. I think I said that wrong. At 12 a.m. Central Standard Time or 6 a.m. UTC time, a thunderstorm developed and, ra developed and rapidly began to grow over south central Wisconsin. The growing storm caused a downburst near the village of Kleiman and then continued on, uh, continued on toward West Bend. The storm, however, did not appear to be severe. Thunderstorm tops were only measured to be 26,000 feet and a weak bow echo was observed by radar in Nina. Only a few minutes after midnight local time, while the storm was weakening, the tornado touched down. This tornado was extremely narrow, but it still managed to produce F3 and F4 damage only a few seconds after touching down. It cut a swath of destruction through the city, killing several and injuring many more. Post-storm analysis determined that not only was the tornado an extremely rare occurrence given the storm's strength, but it was also an anticyclonic tornado. The F4 tornado is the only violent and strongest anticyclonic tornado ever, uh, ever recorded. Now here's the impact. West Bend tornado killed three people and injured another 53. It was the most intense outbreak to strike Wisconsin in 1981 and caused $25 million in damage. Following the tornado, the American Red, Claw, yeah, the American Red Cross excuse me, determined that around 139 structures were damaged or destroyed by the storm. With many residents left homeless and the, and the treat of more storms looming, Governor, Governor Dreyfus declared a state of emergency freeing up the area for aid. The campus at the Moraine Park Technical Institute was severely damaged by the tornado and classes were disrupted. And here's the aftermath. It was determined that the West Bend Police did not activate the city's siren system before or during the tornado. The National Weather Service in Milwaukee Sullivan issued a severe thunderstorm warning for the area that only mentioned a confirmed tornado touchdown. However, because no tornado warning was issued for the storm, local police failed to activate the siren. Nearby Dodge County did activate their system uh, after damage reports, which is almost similar to Plainfield, which we will get into in a few weeks. The tornado showed problems with uh, operational meteorology or now casting. The storm did not display the typical features of a severe storm, and the tornado that was produced formed while the storm was weakening, an almost unheard of event. So, that is it for episode 9 of Tornado Facts with Beanrock 124. This one's a little bit of a shorter episode. Not my problem. That's actually a good thing if, this, if the videos are shorter because that means the tornado is less significant most of the time. So that is it for this episode. Uh, episode 10 will be out next Sunday, just like usual. So goodbye.